Alright guys, what's up? How's it going? This is uh, Iron Man here. Oh, sorry. Um, this is going to be a video a little bit more in-depth on how to jailbreak your iPhone and iPod Touch and some of the known problems um, that I've been having. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this here. <clears throat> I have a computer this time, so I get to show you guys a little bit more. The view might be a little off, but uh, it gets the job done. Alright, um, I'm going to be doing this with you guys. So... A uh, little bit different than my last one. What you're going to do is on your desktop, you're going to make a new folder. That's the first thing you're going to do. I called mine iPhone 3G Jailbreak 09. And uh, this is just going to put uh, all your stuff that you're fixing to download so you know where it's at easily accessed. And uh, let's go ahead and open this. You're going to open up the site. It's called iPhoneHacks.com. I'm going to put both links in the description. There's one for Windows users and, of course, you Mac users out there as well. Can't forget about you guys. Um, like I said, it's, everything's going to be in the description step by step. Um, so you guys know uh, how to do this. First thing I want to say, this is a risk-free process. If something happens to screw up, then um, you just uh, restore it using iTunes. But the first number one rule before you jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch is you want to make a backup and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this I'm going to try to make this as in-depth as possible for you guys so um, obviously I'm going to show you so you guys know uh, plug in your iPhone or iPod Touch and I'm going to start off by saying the iPod Touch second generation is not available to be um, jailbroken yet they have actually jailbroken it but it's not released because it is currently in a uh, tool of a manual state for users and you know uh, Ponage Tool, they like to make everything hardcore, extreme user friendly and that's exactly what they're going to do for us so give or take a, a month or two is my guess maybe uh, maybe even three months but uh, anyway back on track you um, open your iTunes <clears throat> And wait for everything to load. Click on the device. You're going to right click and let's see if I can try to zoom in on this. There we go. You're going to click on backup right here. And what that will do will back up your whole phone in its normal state, current state right now, whatever state that may be in, whatever you have it at. And once you're done with that, that's going to take about 10 minutes. Once you're done with that, I want you to close iTunes completely. I want it to be off of your um, computer. Next thing, you're going to open up the site, link it in the description. You're going to follow these steps. This is very easy step by step, but I'm going to do this with you because if you can't, if you didn't know, um, my iPod is not jailbroken anymore. Current state, just like you guys. Uh, Alright, you're going to come down to the preparatory steps of the site. You're going to download QuickPone. It says from this link, you're going to click that. I already have it downloaded, so I don't think. Um, and what you're going to do is not open. You want to save. Click save. This is very mandatory. You guys need to click save. You can't click run, but this is very easy the way I'm going to show you guys. And the file name, you're going to find the file on your desktop that you just named. So, um, let's see here, I think I already did mine, mine already did mine, so, let's see, click on the file name, desktop, I'm on, um, Windows Vista, Windows Vista, whatever you want to call it, uh, iPhone 3G jailbroke, jailbreak 09, I'm going to click save, I've already done it though, and after that, you're going to go to the next step, and you're going to need to go in the file that you just put your uh, thing in. Let's see if I can. Sorry, guys. This is my first time doing this for a computer. But um, you're going to. Here's the quick phone right here. The file is zipped. I want you to right click and click extract all or unzip, whichever way you have it. And um, it'll go make a new folder, a copy, but it's not going to be zipped. It's going to be on top. So uh, once you're done with that, close that, go back to the browser, step by step, and your next thing I want you to do is says please download firmware 2.2 for iPhone 3G. So you will need to be uh, upgraded to 2.2 if you haven't already, which I'm sure most of you have. You're going to download this link, again save, put it in the file, and I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's in the file. 
going to be right here. It looks like a little box with a little music thing on it called uh, whatever you want to call it. But I called it iPhone at the end. I put restore so I know exactly what it's doing, what I'm doing with this. And uh, basically that's just going to help the firmware uh, so it knows uh, it, you have the exact firmware that this thing needs. After that, you're going to download .NET Framework. It's for your runtimes. It's for the Microsoft. You can get it at the Microsoft site, which is also provided right here. I'm not going to... Um, I'm more than positive all of you guys have that already, but that's just a precaution in case you guys don't. After that, after you've downloaded all the firmware and everything, we are going to start the step-by-step -step process. So uh, let's go ahead and get this started. I think I'm already on six minutes here, guys. So um, let's see. It's plugged in, the device. Make sure it's plugged in. Go into your folder, whatever you named it. Open your quick pwn unzipped, the unzipped one. You're going to get three things. Please visit quick pwn 22 and read me. Once you click in the middle, quick pwn 22. Going to run. After you click on run, you're going to wait a few seconds. It's going to pop up whatever you have, Windows Vista. Um, and click allow. After that, it's going to wait a few seconds and I'm going to do these step-by-steps with you. So here it is, Quick Pwn. It's going to ask you to plug in your device. So please make sure this is plugged in. Now another quick tip, do not minimize this whatsoever. There's been um, a few problems with a few people and I just want to make sure you got this right. Uh, iPhone 3G is plugged in. You're going to click Browse and in the file, whatever you named it, search for your file iPhone 3G Jailbreak 09 is what I named mine. You're going to click on the firmware that you just downloaded. Again, the 2.2 Restore. Click Open. And it's going to sync with it. It's going to make sure both firmwares are correct and in the right position. Make sure you're doing the right one so you don't screw up. So they're actually saving you here. Once you get the check mark, the arrow will light up blue and you get these you add Insidia, add Staller and replace boot logos mandatory make sure add city is checked add installers checked and replace boot logos that's for your own designing um, it's gonna replace the Apple boot logo with a pineapple but you can get into that and you don't really need that so click on the next uh, it's gonna ask you again please make sure it isn't click the next arrow now these are the steps that it's going to do and this is very mandatory it's going to wait it's going to tell you to hold down the home button for five seconds and it's going to count it down with you you'll see the countdown it's recovering in recovery mode so wait for this to go black wait for it preparing your device please follow the instructions below above so you got to give it a few seconds again guys I'm doing this with you There it is. Hold it down. It's going to count it down for you. After that, you're going to hold the both. Boom. Do not let go of any of the buttons. Hold it for ten, uh, 10 seconds. It's going to count it down with you. Do not screw this up. Boom. Release. Hold the home button for 28 seconds. It's actually not going to do that for 28 seconds. It's actually going to go. And it's going to say, wait while your iPhone is being prepared for jailbreaking. I'm going to keep holding it for a few seconds until it turns white. And there you go. You can let it go when it turns white. Don't worry about the seconds. I got this, guys. Don't worry about it. I got you. Wait for it. You're going to get a white screen. This is where people usually start freaking out because I'm not going to lie. I did. So just wait a few minutes. It's doing its thing. Here it goes. Downloading jailbreak data. Data. Tomato, tomato. Whatever you want to do. God, man. I'm going to need to cut this video even shorter. This is killing me. And that's it, guys. Just uh, wait. I don't want to make this video too long, but um, that's pretty much all you do. Um, wait for it to recover. It'll go in recovery mode. It'll restart, and there you go. Your jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch first generation, and uh, it's doing all of its stuff. And there you go. The check is complete. It's going to restart and reboot jailbreak iPod. If you like my videos and they help you out, please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.